Chief Meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, a nice one today. Not quite as nice tomorrow. We'll see a few more scattered showers and a few embedded thunderstorms in the area, but then rain chances going back down Thursday, Friday. But they're going to go back up for the holiday weekend. We're thinking Saturday. We'll talk more about that and the supermoon coming up in just a bit. First off, though, big picture across the region. We see showers and storms kicking pretty nicely across eastern Texas, western Louisiana. The threat of severe weather back to the west as tropical moisture has been plaguing uh, much of the Lone Star State. Still flood watches going tonight, but at least it looks like the flood threat ending. And the system that's creating this is moving to the east, and it looks like these storms are going to clip the northern parishes of Acadiana. So we'll see how that plays out. But you can see lots of clouds, the ground lightning east Eastern Texas into western uh, northwestern Louisiana and uh, the southern fringe of this is certainly earmarked for Vernon Parish and uh, maybe even Beauregard Parish. But I think most of us, most of us miss out on the shower activity. Although in Acadiana we're dry, we got a couple of uh, showers, nice healthy showers up toward Rapides and also of Voiles Parish this evening. Activity moving to the north, north of Marksville and then some action between Glenmora right up to I-49 just to the north and west of the LeCount area and just south of Alexandria. Elsewhere, it's quiet, and we'll be watching for those high clouds as well. Uh, coastal flood risers continue down along the coast, but the tide's here coming down, but it continues for one more day, and of course, the river is still high. So as we put things in motion, fair skies overnight tonight, uh, maybe a little bit more clouds toward daybreak tomorrow as the moon is setting in the western sky. We'll talk more about the moon in just a bit, but tomorrow, with daytime heating, a little bit more energy in the atmosphere, even though the model's suggesting 20, 30 percent, we're going to go 40 percent on your rain chances, scattered showers and a few thunderstorms. Typical almost summer like day with temperatures still getting into the mid 80s. And then as we lose that daytime heating after about four or five o'clock in the afternoon, things should quiet down, maybe a little bit more active off to the north of us. And then as we head into Thursday in that wake of that upper level system, we're going to see a mixture of clouds and sun, but it looks like fewer showers in the forecast. Thursday will be back down to 20% or less. That will continue into Friday, but we do have change on the way as we we head into the weekend as a frontal trough and an upper level disturbance will be working its way southward. So we think we're going to see a pretty good chance of showers and storms sometime Saturday, anytime during the day into the afternoon hours, and hopefully thereafter drier air moving in Sunday into Monday on Memorial Day. Uh, that's if the European model is right. The GFS model uh, wants to keep some rain chances in the area. So overnight tonight, that super flower blood moon because it's going to be in a a little bit of a lunar eclipse, but we don't get to see the eclipse here or much of it here. It just gets dull toward daybreak tomorrow. Moon rises at 20, 727, brightest moon of the year. And unfortunately, uh, you have to be out way out in the Pacific or up toward Alaska to see uh, that total lunar eclipse. Notice we're just on the edge of the lunar eclipse here, so we're not going to see much, if anything, just a darkening of the moon toward daybreak tomorrow toward 6 a.m. Uh, the main lunar eclipse between 3 and about 6 a.m. tonight. 85 the high tomorrow with that rain chance up to about 40%. And then as we move on, rain chances 20% or less Thursday, Friday, back up to 60% Saturday, and hopefully lower as we get into Sunday and Memorial Day.